Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. In today's video, we are going to learn about Angular plus RxJS behavior subject. And I'm not going to use Angular CLI this time. Uh, instead, I'm going to use uh, an Angular 4 starter kit. The reason why I chose Angular 4 is currently I'm using the same starter kit at uh, one of the banking projects. I cannot name the bank names, but they are really big banks. And uh, also I can show you that uh, 4.47 is an LTS version of the Angular, which is very stable in terms of security and updates. And uh, let's get started by cloning this starter kit. So this is the URL. I'll also be sharing this URL in the comments and description. So let's just copy this URL, which is this guy. And just head over to your terminal and open the folder directory that we, you wish to clone this folder to. So I'm just going to type git clone, paste the SSH URL, and I'm going to name this as ng store. All right, and uh, just hit enter. Once uh, you have successfully cloned the repository into a folder, there's the folder structure, uh, you have to type npm install. So what npm install is going to do is it will install all the packages from this package.json file. I'll also open the folder first into my favorite code editor that is uh, Visual Studio Code, which is free. So just going to open the folder, go to projects, angular, and select this. Now you can see uh, the package.json. These are the current dependencies. Uh, make sure you're using RxJS version 5.5 and above. All right. And if you want to uh, hit to the latest version, you can use the caret, but I would advise you to stick with the tilde. So the difference between tilde and the uh, caret is, so tilde will keep this updated with the 5.5 and the X. So if there is an update, this will change. But with the caret, what will happen is this guy can go till 9.5. Nine, but it cannot go beyond version 2 all right so just go ahead and type npm install into your terminal oh so you can see i made a mistake over here i have to cd to the folder first and then type npm install so if you don't know what is angular's rxjs behavior subject then uh, I would advise you to watch my video about RxJS observables. As well, there is another separate video on Angular's RxJS behavior subject, which is over here. That is video number 15 into the playlist, learn Angular step by step. We are going to use this uh, online API. It's a free uh, data source. And uh, once the NPM install is done, you can run the application by typing NPM start which will run the server for you. And now we can see the, the server is running at localhost port 8080. And you can see it works. All right, this is how the app looks now. And you can see we have only two routes over here. We have an about page and we have a home page. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a service uh, based on this API over here, to do service, and we are going to improvise our app into the future videos. Okay, so I'm just going to create a simple uh, service inside the shared folder over here. I'm just going to name this as uh, to do's dot service dot ts. Of course, I'm going to use TypeScript. And you might be wondering uh, why I'm not going to go and explaining all these folders, what are they, like what is app component. If you're new to this completely, I would definitely advise you to watch my Learn Angular step-by-step -step series. So let's just go ahead and create a simple to-do service. And this is going to be an Angular injectable service. And I'm just going to create a simple service. All right, I'm going to name this as to-do's service. And just remove this people over here. All right, so this is a basic uh, service, but as a thumb rule, 
whenever you create a service you have to add it to the app module under the providers so I'm just going to name this as to do service and which gets injected over here and in the next video we'll start with the RxJS observable so we'll create our behavior subject service so stay tuned